How's it going? My name is Money in Phoenix, owner of Project Phoenix Media. How are you guys doing? So this tutorial is going to be on showing you how to set up and run your own ProCon layer server. No need to lease or rent any of the servers from other providers for five or even more dollars a month. You can host it yourself for free. All you need is obviously an internet connection and a computer you are willing to run 24-7 or as long as you want to run the Battlefield server. It's really all you need. Let's go ahead and get started here. So. First of all, right here, I have a team viewer window open of my remote computer. So sorry about the quality there. I'm just uh, trying to get a good picture of my desktop there. So once you have both your computers, obviously the one you want to run the remote server and your actual machine, we want to download and install ProCon on both of them. First, let's work on the remote server, the one that's going to be hosting the actual ProCon layer. Let's go ahead and open up ProCon itself. As you can know, see, it already has one of my uh, my actual live server on it and running, so no one's on it. Boohoo. Anyways, now that we have that set up here, another obvious prerequisite here is I am pretty sure you have your own Battlefield server of some kind. I currently have opened up another uh, Battlefield Hardline test server just for the sakes of the tutorial. So, let's go ahead and get started here. Alright, first of all, for your computer, since this is going to be hosting an actual server, we want to make sure we have set a static internal IP address and we have forwarded some port to it so we can connect to it. A uh, quick little uh, dirty version on how to get a static IP address for your computer. I want to go ahead and open up Control Panel. Though this is going to be a Windows 7 on this machine, on my remote machine, so be aware of that. We're going to go to Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. You want to go to Change Adapter Settings. You're going to have the different uh, physical network connections on your computer. In this case, I'm using wireless. We're going to right click on it, go to Properties. We're going to find Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP. We're going to double click on it to open it. You want to check on the boxes that says use the following IP address and we're going to set any IP address that we want it set static to this computer here. In this case I'm using the last octet of 202. Since for my particular network setup here, the way I have my IPs give out is anything, uh, the last octet from 200 and up, they are not part of the DHCP server so they're only for my statics. That's why I have it set up this way. Subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0 unless you have your network set up in some special way. Default gateway is going to be 192.168.1.1 for most riders. Yours may vary. Now we're going to use the following DNS server here. I just use Google's public DNS. As you can see here, 8888 and then 8844. Going to click on OK and that's a quick and dirty version here. Of course, there might be more detailed tutorials online. That's not what this tutorial is about here. And uh, obviously we're going to set up uh, some port forwards. Uh, we're going to forward some ports on our router. Again, we do have a tutorial on that and there are a million on them on the internet. Go ahead and look one up. So now that we have all of those prerequisites taken care of, we're going to open up ProCon again. We're going to click on Create Connection. So for this information here, for the host name IP, you're going to go ahead and grab whatever IP address your game server provider has given you. And the port is not going to be the join port. This is going to be a specific one for the Archon. Once we have that, we'll go ahead and pop that in here. And we're going to grab the Archon administrator password. We don't need a username since this is the remote layer server, not the actual client. I'm going to click on Connect. And if we did everything good, we should connect to it. There it is. Do not connect. Hacks in progress. <laughs> All right, so now we've connected here to our server. Uh, if you wanted to, uh, we can just go ahead and connect to it like this and everything would be okay here however we're trying to run it as a server so we can connect to it with other computers or if we have friends that we want to give you know administrative access we can do that as well here we're going to go to the accounts tab and we want to turn on procon layer server click on it for the binding address we're going to leave it as it is 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 unless for your specific um, home network you have actual static ip addresses that your internet service provider has given you most residential accounts do not have that, they just have a dynamically assigned IP address. If that's the case, leave a blank if you have a static, feel free to set one up if you want. The listening port, this is where we're going to put in the port that we specifically forwarded just for our server. Now for my main server, I had you know, 17000. For this one, for the test, I just forwarded this extra port here as well, so we can connect. Again, you can use any port if you want. Once we have that popped in here, we can change whatever server you want to name it to. Once that's done, we're going to click on Start Server. And we have it set here. And I have two dummy accounts there that uh, we can use. 
Uh, say we wanted to create another account, we're going to click on manage. Uh, let me delete this one here and we'll try making it again. I'm going to click on create a new account. Call it whatever you want. Test, test. Create it. And boom, we have it set up here. We can go ahead and give it some permissions here. I'm just going to go ahead and give it everything. Now, normally you wouldn't want to give your admin everything unless you want him to be super admin or any other combination in between. It's up to you here. Once you've given them some permissions, just go ahead and save the privileges here. And that should be it. We can go ahead and close that out. And as you can see, close that. And it seems like those settings are not safe. <laughs> so first of all, this is the main one. Allow remote console access to your layer. That one actually lets them see it. And from there, just go ahead and start clicking on a few other privileges here. You want to go ahead and give them. And we'll just throw in everything here. We're making a super admin, lucky guy. Okay, once that's done, we're going to save these privileges. All right, then when that's that done, we want to go ahead and that's really it. That's all we need to set it up server side here. We can go ahead and minimize this remote machine here. And now we're going to go to our main computer. Let's open up the actual ProCon. We're going to create a connection here. And if we are connecting to our internal server, in this case, which we are, uh, we're going to be using the internal IP address here, which remember, we have set it to 192.168.1.202. And the port, we're going to specify whatever port we used here. Remember, this is, we're actually connecting to it as a layer now. So we want to enter a username and a password. We're going to click on connect. Ooh, it's lettuce. Simple as that, we can go ahead and open this up here. And there we go, we have access to whatever we set up for it for. And we want to go into the parent layer controller, adjust any plugins or anything like that there. Easy as pie. But, let's go ahead and delete this here. Say maybe your friend is hosting the layer server. Say it's not actually on your network, you're just connecting to his layer and his server. No problem. What you want to go ahead and have your friend or the other person do, just open up a browser and they want, you want to get their public IP address. We can just go to Google, type in what's my IP and boom. Let's go ahead and copy whatever that IP is. We're going to go to our ProCon here, create a connection and we're going to type in that public IP here and whatever port was assigned to it. And of course the username and the password. We're going to click on connect and if you did everything right, it should let us connect. As simple as that. As you can see, creating a layer here is really simple, so why pay an internet service provider or a game service provider money just so they can host essentially another version of ProCon that they're going to be running 24-7. If you have a spare computer that you never use, why not put it to some use here and create your own ProCon layer server? If you have any questions for me, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and let me know why you didn't like it. And this has been Money in Phoenix here from Project Phoenix Media. Have a good night, guys. And sorry for if my voice sounds a little nasally or if I sound stuffed. I've been fighting a bit of a cold lately, but I just had to put this out there because I could not find a decent tutorial on this. Have a good one.